I want to go live, but I'm really nervous. But I don't know what I'm waiting for. I might as well just go live. Nothing's going to change. Just take a deep breath. And we're live from Toronto worldwide. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. I'm excited. I am super excited. My wrinkles are excited. The little hairs on my face on my little chinny chin chin in the back of my head are excited my fingernails are excited all parts of me are excited i'm really excited i'm super excited but i gotta say a big thank you to all of you guys none of this would have been possible without you guys i mean without the youtube channel without the youtube channel so YouTube channel started everything. And I'm grateful. I felt really grateful today. And yesterday, I felt really grateful for a long time. I've been grateful for a long time. And I've been waiting for this for a long time. A very long time. Years. A lot of years. Are we live? I can't see anything because of my wrinkles. Should I get Botox? What do you guys think? Do I need some kind of Botox filler? Like, should I get this filled in? This ass on my forehead? Does anybody like ass on their forehead? Besides me, I love ass on my forehead. On any part of my head. Ass. Ass on the head. I think a little bit of a little bit of filler right here. Maybe some plumper lips. I get the the Kylie Jenner lips. Maybe Galen can hook me up with Kylie Jenner makeup. What's a Kylie Jenner makeup called? Who would know? Who would know? Life is so interesting. It's so bizarre how life can change so quickly, like right in front of your nose. But it's even more bizarre is how you can create your own life It's really fucking bizarre, man, in the most beautiful way. Does anyone else feel like that? Am I alone here, like an appreciation for life, just grateful for being here? Like really grateful for being here, for having an opportunity, for being chosen. Like we're all chosen to be here by the creator. Do you guys not like worship that idea? That's all I think about all, the, all day long is like, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so lucky to have this human body, to have this human experience, to experience all the things that I do, to experience love, to experience joy, to experience pain or suffering or creativity or emotion or, or whatever it is that I'm feeling in that moment, you know? It's like, that's all that goes through my mind. And it's just like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for this. I'm so grateful for this. I'm so grateful for this. And being grateful really, really, it changes your life being grateful for even the simplest things like the simplest things then bring you beauty like eat an immense amount of beauty just like watching a butterfly it's like oh my god completely made my day <laughs> yeah no maybe who's with me 
Who is with me? Yes. Okay. So I guess you guys have all heard that this song that has been nominated a finalist in um, the independent category for Art and Olfaction 2024. I've known about this for a little while. I had to keep it a secret, obviously. But um, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I can't believe I'm here. Like, I'm I'm here. I'm finally here. I, I mean, it's taken forever, but I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm finally here in the place where I want it to be five years ago. There was a point five years ago where there was nothing. There wasn't even the thought of a brand or maybe there was a thought. It was a plant. It was a seed in my mind. And I was like, this is where I want to be in five years. And I would write every single day. I would, you know, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I was broken. I was like riddled. I, I was completely devastated. I was so heartbroken. I wanted to die. I did not even want to be here anymore. I didn't want to experience this life. I didn't want to go on. I was like, just, ugh. it was so icky. If anyone's experienced, I know you've all experienced some sort of pain or suffering, maybe not heartbreak, but something else, maybe love and, you know, losing love or a relationship or a job or something, but it was devastating. You know, not just losing a partner, but losing your entire family, your pets, your house, you know, your neighbors, everything, everything, like everything from that moment changed. And I got to at that point say, you know, in this moment right now, I can choose. I get to decide who and what I want to be going forward. So I can either sit in this pain and let it destroy me, let it ruin me, let it change, you know, the course of my life or. I can do something about it. I can go into this pain and 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 heal it. And uh, that has probably been like the most difficult thing in my life, but also the most rewarding, you know? So five years ago, I was like, I don't want to feel this pain anymore. As shitty as this pain is, I also, I, I want to keep living, you know? I, I want to I wanna see where I can go or how far I can get or what's going to come, you know? This pain isn't going to last forever. So I would sit there and I would just kind of like plan my life. I was like, how am I going to get myself out of this fucking shithole? You know, here I was in an 800 square foot apartment with three kids, uh, three young, growing, hungry boys that were watching their dad. I know they were watching their dad. Yeah. Yeah. That made it tough. You know? It was tough. It was really tough at that time. I remember feeling a lot of things I never felt before. You know, feeling a, a broken heart was really exquisite. I knew the boys were watching to see how their dad was going to do, right? Like here. So I had to play. Like I was playing a role for them as well. Like I had to... I had to be there. I had to show up every day. I had to continue being a father. I think that's kind of what inspired me. You know, that's what kept me going was being a father, being there for three boys, you know, to show them, to, to show by, 
by doing the work, you know, that there is, you know, after some, you know, divorce is a big failure. Heartbreak is a big failure. You know, sometimes it feels like that doesn't mean it is a failure. I mean, it could be just moving on. But at that time, it felt like failure. Looking back now, you know, I can see I can take the lesson from there. But in that moment, it feels like failure. It feels like a big letdown, letting all, you know, the kids and the family down and having them kind of watch how you're going to re recoup and, and just be there. But yeah, now it's definitely feels more like a lesson, you know, but yeah, they were the ones that kept me going. They really kept me going. And at that time, I was just like, yeah, I want to, I want to dig myself out of this hole. You know, I want to, I want to, I want a better life. I want a better me. I want to, I want to live a better version of me, of my life. Like I want to live the best possible version of my life that I can create for myself. I want to stop putting myself into these kind of holes and shit, you know? So I would just write, I would write, I would, I, I live, you know, very lonely, very, introverted for three years i would just go to work and i mean if i even made it to work if i even there there are some days i couldn't even make it to work i go in for two hours and it'd just be like oh i kind of lose myself in the corner not being able to face anybody i don't want to be there but yeah work even work was tough so for three years i just spent a lot of time alone just being alone healing um, just self-reflecting, you know, going inside and asking myself, like, what do I want to do with my life? What's it going to take to make me happy? Like, what's it, what do I got to do to be a happy person? So I would just write and write and write and have a lot of things come out of me, you know? And then I would write about starting a perfume brand. I'd get up at like five o'clock in the morning and I was in my apartment. And at that time, like the way my apartment was set up, I had a train that was directly across the street. And when I moved there, I hated the damn train because it was so noisy. I mean, it was like make tons of noise. Every 20 minutes, this cargo train would come by. But then I'd wake up at, you know, 5 a.m. and I would have coffee and I would sit there and stare out the window waiting for the train to come. And, every, you know, every morning I was just like waiting for the train to come, writing, writing you know, write journaling, writing all my dreams and goals and whatever things that I wanted to change about myself, you know, subconscious patterns and behaviors and things like that. Just really trying to reprogram my mind to get it out of the gutter and, and start being positive and focused and really figure out like what I want to do with my life and where I want to go. So that train was, it became almost like a companion, you know, I just waited for the five o'clock train with my coffee writing the, the 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 rest of the universe the rest of the world was asleep i'd look out the window it was dark it was cold i guess my apartment was all old people right being 50 i was the youngest person living there um there's no other kids so when my kids came on the weekends like nobody ever seen kids there except for the boys but yeah so all everything you know Everything that happened with the old faction finalist um, being nominated as a finalist really brought back a lot of memories, a lot of feelings, like especially the last couple of days and weeks. Because I was, you know, I was quite certain this was going to happen. You know, I just felt it. And it's not anything to do about like arrogance or, or conceited, but it was just a feeling that lived inside of my heart, you know, that just the universe just kept reassuring me that this is you know you're headed in the right direction you're headed in the right path and and you're protected you know it just kept reassuring me that i was guided and protected on my path and it was it was just a really beautiful feeling and now it was like looking back you know looking back it was like oh all those all those memories you know i got to see maria yesterday which was really nice and i i, I told her and i she knew she kind of knew too and and uh yeah it was nice it was nice to see her um we cried a little bit yeah we cried a little bit together just a little bit we didn't ball or anything but it was like tears of joy so it was good to see her it was good to share you know the news with her she's always still supportive and she's uh yeah she's offered to come on stream or or or, or do some videos sometime if it's if it's ever cool i was like yeah people would love to see you of course 
so yeah and here we are and the, the final list uh, it's sometime in in june i think it's june 7th in portugal lisbon and i think i'm gonna have to make my way down there somehow but let me say hello i can't believe we've been 26 minutes already and i've just been babbling and babbling and babbling but i have to give myself a moment to babble because <laughs> i i listen what's up galen why am i just hearing about this now i heard from you galen i don't know what you are talking about you've got the wrench you are the money man what's up kev sob what a star now that you're here yes now that you are here you make everybody a star kevin that's why you are loved space out and buddy kuros you are the best eugene thank you sob you are the best as well turned on tune in drop out hello i see yoga pose yeah a lot of yoga doing a lot of not i'm doing any yoga to be honest i've never done yoga in my life and if i did it was like probably some kind of pretend yoga that somebody tricked me into doing i wouldn't mind doing yoga but i don't i still meditate a lot like a lot it's basically all i do really like a walking meditation just like a just being connected to consciousness all the time you know it's uh very fulfilling you son of a moose you should get a boat <laughs> For what, Galen? I guess brushing the car can wait. <laughs> Is that what Saturdays are for, Bobby? Sorry to disappoint, man. But maybe you can live stream it. Maybe you can live stream it. Um, Space House has tried Songe, got reminded of Leather Oud. Yes, but the more you wear Songe, the less you will remember or connect to Leather Oud. You're the architect of your own life. Damn right you are. You are the commander and the chief. Uh, I hope you have a good imagination. You'll need it. You will need it to build your life. What's happening, Denim? You know what's a good? Find your soul. Find your soul and you'll find your, you know, connect with your soul and you will find your soul's purpose. And then you can build your life as an architect. But it's important. That's where you find the soul is through meditation. Um, quiet the mind. You, you cannot hear the soul when the mind is constantly busy and being distracted. What's up, Alan Hansen? Good to see you. Long time no chat. Happy to be here with you all. I'm glad that you're Danim Santa Day. Bellam, good to see you, Danim. Alan Hansen is in Daphne. I've tried Daphne once. I thought it was really pretty. Probably more like beautiful, but yeah. Dr. Dedrick Minor, congratulations. Thank you, Santa Day Hachivat. The name says, I need the Sandra to complete my Les of Today collection. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Just got home from the ceramic showcase. I wore La Pausa. Love La Pausa. I can't smell it after 15 minutes, but Anna assured me I smelled amazing the whole time. Yeah, La Pausa is very airy and ghostly and it disappears, but it, it's always there. People who've never experienced bad or difficult times can fully appreciate the good and beautiful times. That's right. Yeah, I agree. Mmm, love Desandra. What's up, Drum by Sense? Desandra is awesome. I wore seven sprays once from my decan I had. I'm wearing it today. I, I am wearing it today. I went to the gym and there was a moment like, what am I wearing? This feels so inappropriate for the gym. And I was like, oh no, it's the Sandra. That's okay. But not only was I wearing the Sandra, but I had like, I was watching Galen and Rich going on about paddock um, this afternoon. And I didn't have any paddock, but I did spray a little bit of Gallo on. So I had gal like a a little couple sprays of Gallo and a couple of sprays of Desandro at the gym. And I was like, this feels totally inappropriate. We've come a long way, long way together. We have, we have. Now, the interesting part is like, I don't get to see how long, how far a lot of you guys have come. 
I hear, I hear, like, I hear, I, 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 I talk to some of the people that have gone through similar things and, you know, they've come a long way, but I'd love to hear more of this. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of people that have still been here from the beginning, you know, even though it's been what, seven or eight years of bitching about fragrances on YouTube. I think that's what really started. This was the bitching, bitching and bitching and bitching about, uninspiring perfumes uh, and then it's just like all right i'm getting so tired of complaining and just talking about the same thing over and over and over and over again how boring these perfumes are like let's do something about this you know let's 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 do something let's change this so i mean and that's partly that's how you guys are all like to blame you guys are to blame for this you guys are partly responsible it's this channel it's the people from the channel the people that have been coming here you know year after year after year week after week day after day that is responsible for this you guys have inspired this more than anything it's like the discussions like this in the chat you know discussions like this with rich or other people privately that's all things that have inspired this Oh, Eugenie, we love you. You're loved too, Oris. Everybody's loved. Everybody is loved. But we love love. That was a healing moment. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the boys mean a lot to me. So uh, I, I just feel like I got to be there for them. Um, they've been They've been through a lot too. So, you know. It's, it's, I think, I think uh, both of us, all, <laughs> all of us go through healing. That's what life is really. It's, it's about healing. Like, especially this second, this later part of life is so very different than early life. Early life was all about just having fun, getting carried away, doing all this stupid shit, you know, doing stuff that, <laughs> that you shouldn't be doing. But, and this is really about, it's kind of like letting go of all that, healing that and, and finding yourself, you know, finding love within yourself, finding everything that you need outside of yourself from things, people, whatever it is, like finding all that inside of you. That's what the second part of life has become now. Um, and it's very different. It's very different than the first part, but... It's really beautiful, man. It's really beautiful in a weird way. Like sometimes it gets painful. Healing isn't, it's not easy work. It's very painful work, like to go inside of that stuff. But I gotta tell you, it's really beautiful. I know. Thank you, Taffy. Thank you, Taffy. You done good. We've all done good. I have to celebrate, baby. <laughs> Collect every Montal. Mm, no, that's not going to happen. David Hunter, New York City. Long time. Good to see you, David Hunter. Yo, Eugene DeSanto. I told you it was better than Sycamore. I've got to get a full bottle. That's a huge compliment is better than Sycamore, but I wouldn't go, you know, Sycamore is beautiful in a very different way. Um, yeah, I love Sycamore as well, but, you know, both are very, very special perfumes in my eyes. Udo, good to see you, Michelle. Happy Saturday. Happy 420, Michelle. And everyone else that celebrates. Who's celebrating 420? Spark one up. Are you working on your next perfumes? Enrique, yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited about that too. Probably more excited about the next two than the first three. I got to be honest. And I've been talking with Antoine like the last couple of days. Um, we're going to do one more, uh, one more change. And then we'll see from there. But I think um, hopefully one more so we're working on two perfumes one perfume i think one more modification and it's done the second perfume mm, it's probably not as close but we'll see 
we'll see. And I'm excited. So he he did promise that modifications would be here by the end of this month for the next two perfumes. So yeah. Um, talk to him about like Portugal. He's very excited about the, you know, the nomination as well. He's very excited. Remy is excited. Remy sent an email saying, you know, that's amazing. If you need anything, let us know. If you are going to Lisbon, he said, he actually said, if you're going to Lisbon, no, when you go to Lisbon to collect your award, he said, so he's very confident. He said, stop off in, in France and, you know, we'll get together. We'll show you around the lab. We'll show you around the boutique and, and just stuff like that. So it was really nice to connect with him as well. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. We missed you the last couple of streams. Somebody was asking, so many people were asking about you. Glad to catch live watching and multitasking. All right. Well, glad that we can spend some time with you today. If you can't go to Portugal, get Zhao to accept in your absence when you when you win. Dude, Zhao's no longer in Portugal, but there is a chapter of Portugal whack pack that I'm sure would love to pick this up. I'm sure they would love to, but I'm going to do my best to do make my way down there. I'm going to I'm going to give it my um, the old college try, some a little bit of elbow grease, and we'll make it down there. I have to praise you like I should. I always thought it was Chad's bus driving by your apartment that was your inspiration. <laughs> You know, I would sometimes just go out and sit by the tracks and watch the train. I mean, yeah, like I really enjoyed the train. Um, I would walk the tracks. Not for too long, though, because the train came very often. <laughs> I wouldn't dare go too far. What's happening, Silver Panther? Good to see you. Hope all is well. The Nectarine Man. I had no idea. Your story is truly truly inspiring. Wow. And distilling it, channeling into your work is art. Rooting for you, dude. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. If you haven't been around, I mean, it's we've been talking about it for years on YouTube. Just you got to sift through the videos. But yeah, that was really the inspiration for the first three perfumes. A very interesting time. Very interesting. So I'll always re I'll always remember it. Like it's for me, it's captured in perfumes that time of my life. Christine's in scent of the day. Another Antoine Lee's Cafe Rose, Tom Ford. I tried Editage finally. Wow, it's taken you a while, eh? I didn't realize you haven't like you haven't tried this yet. It reminds me of 10 different fragrances. Okay, what do you got? Like 10 different Guerlains? It's really complex. S shit, man, six years ago, I was still drinking. I was about to go to sleep to almost 2 a.m. here, and the bell, bell rang. All right, I hope you guys are all getting your own notifications. I get messages from people saying, hey, we don't get any notifications. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Like... Turn your notifications on. I don't know. Like, there's nothing else I can say, but I'm glad that you guys are all here. Um, I was about, congrats. You are an inspiration, and I'll spray the song to, to keep me awake till I pass out. All right. Thank you, man. Enjoy your desanda. Enjoy your nap. Enjoy your dreams, and we'll see you in some other dimension, maybe. We'll come knock at your door. Les Abs will not truly be successful until a group of knuckleheads on the live stream claim that Eugene has shot the bed. <laughs> I am waiting for you and Rich to do it, my friend. I am waiting for you and Rich to do it. <laughs> the day I can hear Rich saying, how he shit the bed. <laughs> you never know, man. Yeah, but you're right. Uh, I've not be I've not made it until Rich says one day that I've shit the bed. <laughs> What's happening, Mika? Sense of the day, beau du jour. Zambo man. Hello from Los Angeles. Sense of the day is Gallo Hermes. Simply the best. Yeah, I had a little bit of Gallo on today. I've got that right here. 
I really want to try Paddock, Kalen, hint, hint. And Anna, we love you, Eugene. So proud of you, my kind friend. Big hugs, love you. You are loved, Anna. Thank you. Thank you for being you. <laughs> Have you talked to Marge? Marge, Margie? We haven't seen that ass in charge, you know. I haven't talked to Margie. No, I have not. Um, maybe once, like months and months and months ago. I don't even think it was. It could have been earlier this year, like at the beginning of the year. But I haven't talked to her like in a while. I'll never forget you saying that the next time you get married. I don't think I'm going to get married again, dude. <laughs> it's not in the cards, man. I, I'm going to marry myself and just kind of live with perfume. But I don't know if I want to get married. Um <sighs> I've been there twice. I really like did, you know, I did it. I did it. I did it. I, I got to explore that side of love. I love my freedom now. I love, I, don't get me wrong. I love women as well, you know, um, relationship. Okay. You know, kind of you do your thing. I'll do mine. I'll be loyal. We'll go to a movie. We'll have dinner once a week. We'll, go watch the sunset once a week, but you live at your place. I'm going to live at my place and you clean your stuff. I'm going to clean my stuff or I'm not going to clean my stuff, but I don't want anyone telling me I got to clean my stuff anymore. <laughs> you know, I I'm 50. I know the way I'm set. I don't need somebody telling me barking orders, you know, <laughs> um, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> So there you go. Do I still feel that way? I feel like I don't want to get married. I'm good. I'm good. But yes, I would still wear get along Mitsuko. Yes, that is correct. You got to go to Lisbon in France. You know, or now that you have said it, I, I think it has only has to become truth. It only has to become true. I think I should go to Lisbon and France. What's happening, Frank? Eau de Guerlain. Frank is an Eau de Guerlain. Editage is Jiki, Chalimar, Abbey Rouge, Ledge, Le Lyon, <laughs> maybe some Beaujour, and maybe some <laughs> Um, I mean, there's a lot of lavender in there. It's very soapy lavender. So that's probably your connection. How's NMS Paddock? Miss the stream. Will it be a wide release? Well, right now it's limited. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what Galen thought. Like his face was kind of like up and down. I think he was like his reaction looked like he was a little bit disappointed but also he had the feeling that he was going to come around to it. But I don't know. You got to watch the stream. Christine says, Eugene, how do you feel about the news about Frederick Moll stepping down? Uh, firstly, I hope that the decision is his. I hope that nothing is being taken away from him. Um, so like, I hope there's no contract dispute or I, I just hope everything is just working out the way that he is hoping. I hope it's his decision. And if it is, I have nothing but like love and respect for it. It's his time and, and to go and do something else or to do nothing. But um, I'm really grateful for, for what he's done in the last 25 years. Like he's inspired me and he's inspired a lot of other people here to come into perfume. Like it was, it was really, I came into like when I discovered perfume, like my beginning journey of perfume was really also discovering Frederick Mull. So I feel very lucky in that way. Um, yeah, but how do I feel? I don't know. I feel kind of the time is right. If he feels it's right, I think it's the best thing. 
And that means he's probably no longer got it in him. Um, you don't walk away from something that you enjoy doing, but you know, it's a choice that he's made. So obviously there is something not right any longer, you know, he, either he's not in it or it's getting taken away from him, but Weren't you and Marge supposed to meet? Are you talking about Margie Noir? Were we supposed to meet? Were we? I, I, I don't remember this. Marge. I have no freedom. God, I love my freedom. It is the most important thing that I have is my freedom. I said it. You heard me. I heard you loud and clear. Do you still eat cherry pie? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Now I have pumpkin pie. But now that the spring is coming around, the cherry, cherry season might be here. Bobby Dior says, congrats on the huge news. I didn't know till now. Thank you, Bobby O. I appreciate you. What news? Happy, I'm sure you've heard. Happy 420. Yes. Happy 420. Congrats, Eugene. Thank you, Empty Sense. Happy 420. Hope you are enjoying your doobage. Let us know what you guys are smoking. I had a little bit of sour diesel. Sour diesel is my favorite. It's like no matter what I try, and I'm always trying new new stuff. I'm like, nah, nah, it doesn't come. I want my sour diesel. I want my sativas. I want my sour diesels. Um Indicas are nice, but they're more for like for me when I just want to check out, you know, and the only time I really want to check out is if I'm going to sleep and, and I want to go like on a nice dream and, and into it like this nice dream state. But yeah, I'm I much prefer my sativas. <laughs> is he staying with him? Zhao's no longer in Portugal. Zhao's in um where is it? Latvia? Zhao's in Latvia. Headless Sense. Hi, Headless Sense. It is good to see you. Does everybody know Headless Sense? Say hello to Headless Sense. And check out our YouTube channel. Propeller. Godspeed, Eugenius. My scent of the day is Homeros SQ from Ensar. I have no idea what this is, but I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you are enjoying it. I like cream, <laughs> cream pie. I certainly hope so. I hope you're getting like cream pie. I had a dream about sour cherries last week. Care Bear Bedtime. Thoughts on Francesca Bianchi fragrances? Never. I've never tried a Francesca Bianchi. I can't say much. Oh, Zhao's in Lithuania, I thought. Could be Lithuania. <laughs> Is it Lithuania? Latvia, Lithuania. Where is he at? I'll tell you where he's at. I'll tell you his address. i give you his postal code. You can send Zhao fan mail. Uh, where did you go? Xiao, Xiao, Xiao. Xiao is quite the popular fella. Who is watching the, um, Stanley Cup playoffs. Why can't, why can't I find you? I can find everybody I need except for Zhao. Oh, here he is. Zhao. Zhao Lima. You're right. It is Lithuania. Zhao is in Lithuania. So who's watching the Leaf game? <laughs> Poor 
magical whack pack no longer includes <laughs> he was extradited <laughs> I just bought this Sandra. Wow, was that your phone dinging when I clicked by? I didn't hear anything click. All I heard is a text message. But I'll tell you. Somebody did, yes, five minutes ago. Somebody did buy this Sandra five minutes ago. Zambo man, I, I imagine that is you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very much appreciated, Zambo man, for your support. No, that was my my son texting. He's like, hey, the game starts in a couple of minutes. Are we going to go watch it? I told him we can go watch the game. Freddie Mull is done. We got some classics from him, though. Yeah, apparently he's got two more releases coming out before he is exiting. Like, he's got two more releases with his name on them. And he's leaving in June. So, mm. almost like a Dimashi. Do you remember when Dimashi left Dior? He was like, they were rushing to get his last three releases out. Leafs, baby. What did you think about uh, Matthews not getting 70? Mikey, were you disappointed? <laughs> you, can't, you can't be watching hockey. You must clean the house and empty the trash. Oh, my bad. You're the master of your own house. You can do whatever you want when you want. Enjoy. Uh, smoking GSC. What's everybody wearing? What is everybody wearing? I would love to know. What is GSC? Girl Scout cookies. I'm oh, those are from the spinach brand. I've tried the um, GMOs, uh, garlic, mushroom, and onion. God, they really smell like that garlic, mushroom, and onion. They got like, ooh, they're quite stinky, eh? Girl Scout cookies. Has anybody has anybody heard of any of the other brands that have been nominated as finalists? Or the perfumes? Has anyone tried any of the other perfumes? Let me see what the other perfumes are. Because I have not I've not even heard I've barely heard of any of these, let alone tried them. I haven't heard of some even some of the brands. Uh, here we go. Okay. So, so these are the finalists, the 10 finalists of the independent category. So the first one was Am Amnesia Rose by Ada's de Venustis. So I've heard of Ada's de, de Venustis. I've never heard of Amnesia Rose. Perfumer Luca Maffei. So the second one is Call Me by American Perfumer. The brand is American Perfumer. The perfumer is Deanne St. Clair. Then we have Else by Francesca Del Oro, FDO. The perfumer, Michelle Marin. Then we have Grand Gala by Rito. Creative director, Stefano Torregiani. And the perfumer, oh, Miguel Matos. Grand Gala. Honey Vetiver by American Perfumer. So Honey American Perfumer's got two of them. American Perfumer. I've not tried any American Perfumer. Creative Director David Kern, Perfumer Amber Jobin. Then we have Jasmine Giocuro by Parfums Artemique. 
creative director. I'm going to butcher this. Sarah Marz Marzocini, perfumer Cristiano Canali. Oh, and then we have a Kajal by Kajal Perfumes, creative director Mo. I've met Mo. I know Mo. Perfumer Kevin Mathis. We have Sidama by Gentleman's Nod. Creative director Christopher Christensen. Perfumer Hugo Charon. Made at Mon. Mon was the lab. They even list the labs here. Vietnamese Coffee by Da Nam. Creative director Nick Hong. Perfumer and Go. IFF. Slide to, oh, no. Then we have some honorable mentions. So, so I've not tried any of these besides the Sondre. Uh, I've not heard of many of these. So I don't know what they are like. Sense of the day, portrait of a lady. 1957. Ty Renegade Realtor. What's real estate like? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 69 really is a move. I had that garlic <laughs> starship a while ago. The frag the devil probably wears is Dior Fahrenheit Absolute. Yeah, it's nice and spicy, dry and woody. Ada's the Venustas is here in New York City. Have you tried any of them? Why bother? You win anyways. I hope these awards are not political. I bet some of the perfumers have connections. Well, hopefully it's about the art. Also, also tried opium put home so good, and I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is about the art. <laughs> I walked right into that, Frank. I heard Stephen is up for a lifetime achievement award for. <laughs> Stephen does seem like a nice guy. I mean, he's just doing his thing. I mean, put yourself in his shoes. Would you do anything differently? What would you do differently? Le Labo to release Coriandra, Osmanthus, and Eucalyptus from what I've heard. One, two, three. Interesting. Yeah. So three different releases or all in one perfume? Matos has connections. All those people, they're all they're all connected. Uh, you know, everybody, the, you, the same faces you keep hearing over and over and over again, they're all connected. There is a connection. You know? People are going to make connections. That's what they do. That's what they do in circles. You get into these circles to make connections. We all make connections. You have your connections. I have my connections. Miguel Matos has his connections. We're all connected. Uh, the more connections you have, the better it is for you. So connect, 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 make connections. <laughs> Steven has been to a ditty party, I'm sure. Well, you got to be somebody to be at a ditty party. You know, not just anybody can walk into a ditty party and say, I'm here. Let me in. Howdy. Hope you are well. What's happening? A, eh? hope you are well. We are doing very well here. Yes, we are celebrating. Can we vote or kidnap some? Yeah, let's let's kidnap everybody. What, where should we to, what should we do with them? Where should we take them? <laughs> should we get some sort of island and just leave them there? Yes. <laughs> Horace is saying, who is Steven and why are we being unkind to him? 
Steven is a YouTube fragrance reviewer. He's a very popular fragrance reviewer that I guess people are upset with because he just likes everything. I don't know. Is that a reason to be upset with him? And he sells perfumes. I don't know. Is that why they're upset with him? Because they sell perfumes? I don't know. Are people upset with me because I sell perfume? I don't know. Why are they upset with Stephen? I guess they keep saying, calling him a shill. What is he shilling? What are you guys accusing him of shilling? His time? Product? What is it? Three different Lilabos. Coriander 39, city exclusive. I'm a big fan of Coriander. I'm not sure about it being... I've never heard of it being... Is it coriander? Is that the spice? Coriander? Is that what you're saying? Congrats, Eugene. Big news to be proud of. Thank you, A. I appreciate it. Let's just ignore him. Yeah, I mean, if, if we've got nothing good to say. I mean, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, Oris. I mean, I don't mind Steven. Not anymore. There was a time where like things outside of me would affect me. And I'd be like, why does this, which has absolutely nothing to do with me, have so much control over me? How have I allowed this? You know? So it's just like, no, I will not give that entity power over me. Be it whoever, you know, not just Steven, but anybody, anything, any object. No, like my power is my own. And it's not going to anybody. So I just, you know, just staying in my own lane has, has served me better than anything else. And that's what I'm going to do. Let's just ignore him. Definition of a real fraghead, someone who wears perfume to the gym. I do. Uh, I, there was a time I thought it was weird, but I, I, I carry no shame over it anymore, man. I wore Desandra to the gym today. I wore Gallo to the gym today. Even though it's it's not the place for it. A little bit. You know, a li just a little bit is okay. You and Ramsey wear perfume when you work out. It's so funny. I can't imagine doing that. I'm still waiting for Mr. Miami Cuddles to release a fragrance. Miami Cuddles does have a fragrance, doesn't he? I thought he had a fragrance. I have paid to be on the pre-order list. Henna is here. Hi, Henna. Canadian Beauty Blog. Hi, quickly stopping by. Congrats, Eugene. Thank you, Henna. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Say hi to Henna, guys. I can't imagine Ramsey working out. Why not? Everybody can work out. Ramsey looks like a big dude. He looks tall. He's got the frame for it. Have you written your acceptance speech? Dude, I can when I I can barely string two words together. I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to hire somebody from one of those apps. He was Robes08, great reviewer. Then the free bottles drown him. Then now it just happened. Still, he's a nice guy. Just his reviews channel is empty. There you go, Ors. That is the lowdown. Hi, Money Burner. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Hi, Eugene. I missed you a lot. <laughs> you know, I get messages all the time. People are saying, hey, Are you going to stream today? Are you going to stream today? Are you going to stream today? And you know what? Like the last month, I was just like, I have intention to stream, but then when it comes that time, it's just like, I just kind of want to be alone, you know, in those moments. I'm like, I, I, I don't want to be like seen. I don't want to put myself out there. I just kind of want to be alone. And I don't know, just be out, be out in nature, you know? So.
I don't know. I don't always just, I don't feel, there's times where I don't feel like being out in public, like seen, you know, it's like, I feel ugly, not physically, not emotionally, just like, I just don't want to be seen. So <laughs> that's what happens. And then I just disappear, you know, and then one day it turns to three, then turns to 10, turns to 30. And then something like this, like, really inspires me to talk about perfume again. But I'm glad that you're a Kuwait man. Thank you for being here. Rudy is connected, or his barber is for sure. <laughs> How hot is Hannah? I'm not going to comment on this. The most beautiful woman in Fragum. But very beautiful, yes, I would agree. I, I guess I did just comment on it. I'll write it. Oris will write it. I'll take that. You're tall, 6'4". What fragrance will you choose for your wedding? I'm not getting married ever. <laughs> but if I do, Mitsuko. Are you taking over for Fred Mull? No, I'm, I don't want to be Frederick Mull. I love Frederick Mull. I don't want to be Frederick Mull. I'm all for my own journey. You know, I love my journey. I love where I am. I love what's meant for me. And I'm waiting, you know. I want what's mine. I don't want what what is anybody else's. You know, Frederick Mull, he created his own thing. He did an amazing job. I'm proud of him. I love everything that he's done. But I'm sure he'll find somebody that is the right person. Or whoever, they'll find the right person for that job. Have Mike V write it. <laughs> Have like a, 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 a comical episode. That could work. That could work. Mike V, how would you start it off, Mike V? Give us like the opener. What would the opening line be? How would we, what would the icebreaker be? Spaced Out says, please shout out Max40 in your speech. We need to support real reviewers who don't buy subs. Hmm. Max40 has 100% bought subs. One of the Bruins, oh my God. I told my kids the Leafs are not going to win. <laughs> they never win shit. In my 50 in my 49 years I have never seen the Leafs win the Stanley Cup. The closest we came was when Gretzky gave it to us. When Gretzky was in LA, Gretzky versus Gilmore. We should have had that. Gretzky should have got a penalty call for that high sticking. He stick Gilmore. He cut him. It should have been a five-minute penalty. Instead, he scored a goal and buried the Leafs. How is, is Krista doing okay? I certainly hope so. Wherever he is, I hope, I hope he's doing okay. But we haven't seen him in a while. Have Zhao the lawyer write it. Have him accept it with his golden voice. Crystal doing guitars now. He's into a new hobby. Well, he was always into music. He loved music. I don't know. I don't remember him playing any music. But he had a huge record collection. He had like um you know, like a lot a lot of stereo equipment. He was into record players and speakers and stuff like that. Collected records. Thomas, what's happening? Good to see you. Hope you're having a nice day. I am. I'm having a nice day. Hope you're having a nice day as well. You got 42 here. Guys, lick the stream. Give the stream a good lick. I see zero licks. Zero licks. The licks are kicks.
<laughs> I'm starting to collect Guerlain soon. They are a multi-headed hydra of frag world. <laughs> what do you mean by that? And what do you mean you're starting to collect Guerlain? Like all of them? You want all of them or just some of them? Guerlain is uh, very interesting. I mean, it's a good place to start at the beginning. Guerlain was big in my, my journey too. Guerlain, Chanel, Frederick Mull, Hermes, Dior, like the big French houses. I was always obsessed with the big French houses, what they were doing. Hitler's birthday. Does that have anything to do with 420? Like, why is 420 called 420? Is there anything to do with, with each other? All of them. They are a whole world of their own. So many lines. Yeah, there used to be more lines. Now they've kind of condensed them into one. How do you feel about that? And it's tough to get. Like, do you want to get the older bottles as well? Or just the new ones? Police code. Is that what it is? So what is when they say 420, what does that mean? They got some young punks smoking weed in their parents' car and their parents' minivan. Space is right on. Guerlain is multi-headed. What do you mean multi-headed? I discovered Eugene Channel because of Mal Guerlain Dior. Le Legendaire are a good place to start. I thought 420 had something to do with Grateful Dead. Probably older bottles, some new releases are nice also, like Neroli Vetiver. <laughs> 420 Legend is a high school in Cali in the 70s. Used to meet up at 420 after school to smoke. I bet you it is some kind of weird legend like that, eh? It just started with a bunch of kids. Why 420? Like school ends at 3.30. So that gives them just enough time to get home, drop their backpacks off, have two hot dogs and catch up with their friend down the street. And it's 4.20. I guess that's how it went. Latosha Griffin. Hello, second time here. Enjoyed your last live and congrats. All right, thanks for being here, Latasha. It's good to see you and thank you. I keep trying to get into Russian Adams fragrances out of Rige Lador, but I can't. I'm upset because I can't tell you why. I'm genuinely confused. How can we help you, David? What do you need from us? What is confusing you? Is it the storytelling? Is it the ingredients? Is it the quality? Is it the blending? What is the what is the problemo? Maybe my nose isn't sophisticated enough to appreciate real Indian oud and deer musk. I don't know. I'm not sure what you're smelling. So I'm not sure what's going on. But there is a lot of love for these artisanal, smaller brands. There was no backpacks in the 70s. What did you guys carry your books in, Robert? What do you mean there was no backpacks? If we had them in the 90s. You guys must have had them in the seven. Would you guys have lunch boxes and toolboxes? Did you take your books and toolboxes? How'd you take your books to school? Briefcase? What time did you light up at, Bobby? Was it 4 20? 4 30? 4 15?
I'll wear straight Indian food and be. We carried them. Maybe those wide rubber bands. Potato sack and the stick. Hannah says, David, they really don't smell smooth and refined. It's okay to move on. Well, there you go. There's some great advice. If you're not enjoying them, set them aside, David. Um, put them away and then come back to them at a later time. You know, go go through your stages, go through your journey, discover a bunch of things, and then you might find some appreciation for them. You never know. It may and it might take some time. And that's okay. Like they're not going anywhere. Just let them rest. Uh, it's happened to a lot of people. It's happened to me so many times where you, you you try something, you discover it, you make a decision, you like it or you don't, and then you put it away for a bunch of time and you come back to it and you're like, you have a completely different uh, assessment of it. I have deer musk tinctures. I went deep in the game. Then I had kids. Yeah, this stuff gets expensive too. Perfume and kids. I know what you mean. I made the girls in my school carry my books. <laughs> you pervert. <laughs> big, big pen. You must have been a nerd, though. They would never. Girls wouldn't carry, like, if you're a bad boy, girls wouldn't carry your books. Girls like the nerds. They like the softer kids, you know? The nice kids. A girl would never have carried my books in grade school. Even Taif Rose smells more lemony than Bulgarian Rose, which it should. No, <laughs> no books in this. That's not true. I know there's lots of books. There's always been books. Mike says, Canadian beauty blog, I think people force themselves to like them. Why do you think that? Why would somebody force themselves to like something that they didn't? That would be weird. That would be a betrayal of self, Mikey V. Why would you betray yourself like that? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Even though I know what you mean. I know what you're trying to say. Johanna, you have some fanboys here. I'm sure Hannah has like fanboys swooning all over her wherever she goes. That is not one of Hannah's problems. Tyro Taif Rose is indeed quite lemony. I don't remember Taif Rose. EQ, sense of gratitude, feel the air as I stand here. Nose to nose with this incredible honor. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, EQ. David, are you into your fountain pens? Your name is familiar. Frank, you perv, you're married. Hannah, he's married. Don't listen to him. He's, he's married and he's not even smooth. Like, let's do lunch. <laughs> that's it. Like, that's it. Let's do lunch. I guess he's just keeping it simple. I don't know. That might work. Like, simplicity might work. It might work. I'll tell you what. Simplicity does work. I like simplicity because one of the perfumes that Antoine and I are working on um, there's a, there's a little bit of simplicity to it and we kind of made some changes and we added some complexity to it and I'm just smelling this thing. I'm like, yes, this is more complex and it's, I don't know if it's more interesting, but it's more complex and there's more changes to it, but it loses the beauty in the simplicity. You know what I mean? So sometimes simple is the way. See, Mikey, see, see now this. Hi, Hannah, let's go perfume sampling. <laughs> this rolls a little bit better. What do you think, Hannah? What do you think? I don't know. I don't want to answer for Hannah. 
Taif Rose is an essential oil. The Taif Rose is very hard to get as the Saudis keep it to themselves and prohibit export of too much of it. Frank says straight to the point. You want Romeo talk. No, I think you just kind of got to go with the flow. Go with the flow. I would say go with the flow. But if you ain't getting the response, I would back off. That's that's what I would do. I would back off. That's what I would do. But that's it. What's everybody doing tonight? It is 845 here. Let's check the Leafs score. Toronto Maple Leafs. Can somebody fill me in? It is one nothing Boston Bruins. Uh, what period is it? I guess we're in the intermission, the first intermission. Okay. Game two is on Monday. Game three is on Wednesday. Mikey V, are we going to win? Are we going to win? Minutes left in the first. <laughs> Chucky. Chucky, don't fuck with me, Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, I got all of your messages. Man, I bet you're a ride, Chucky. I bet you Chucky's a fucking ride. <laughs> See, <laughs> FCM's been trying to court me for like two years now. How's that working out for you, um, Floral? I think it's working out better for Floral than it is for uh, for Frank. Maybe Leafs will win if you buy a ticket to Portugal. You know what? Whatever happens with the Maple Leafs makes no difference to me anymore. There was a time where it was really important to me as a Leaf fan. And I was just like, I could. It means absolutely nothing to me. Would it be nice? Yes. My kids were like, wouldn't, but wouldn't you love it, Dad, if the Leafs? I said, of course. Of course I would love it. But I'm not going to drive myself crazy over it because it just doesn't matter. You know, it has no effect on my life if they win or lose. Would I love it? Of course I would love it. I would celebrate. But if they lose, it's like, all right, just just another moment. It's like I think I think Frank is trying to um Get some sort of uh, dating service going on in, in the uh, chat here. How many dates have you gotten, Frank? One of my coaches gifted me a book about detaching ourselves from others, such as celebrities or sports teams. It was never a problem for me, but I completely agree. I completely agree, too. It's like such a fuss is made over these people. And, it, you know, it, it does feel like, in a way, it feels like a distraction. It's like, why are we so concerned about what all these super duper rich people are doing? Like, they're all making a life for themselves. Like, why are we pouring ourselves into these people when, when our cups are like, they're not even full, you know? Why aren't we filling our own cups? Don't we worry about ourselves and get, you know, focus on ourselves and take care of ourselves instead of these people that we have no idea who the hell they are. They have no meaning, absolutely no meaning or effect on us. Or they shouldn't anyway. They shouldn't, like these people on TV shouldn't have such an effect on us that we lose ourselves over them. You know, Mikey, keywords for acceptance speech, sir. We'll torture for it. (laughs) 
I think I think ultimately it's like it's a boredom. People are bored and they want to escape boredism. You know, they, it's escapism. And and tearing down other people feel good. It feels good. It must feel good. Like why else would you do it unless people don't do things that don't feel good. Right? So that's exactly what the point was, was that we should be focusing on our own goals. Exactly. <laughs> I can pour myself into Eugene's life. I don't need Taylor Swift. Yes, you can pour yourself into my life. As long as like your cup is full too, or whoever you want to pour yourself into, it's great to support other people. But before you do that, like make sure you have enough. And then when you have enough, you, you're you always able to support other people better. Got to admire a man that never gives up. What's happening, Rudy? Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well. I could care less about celebrities or much else, but the Leafs have been the passion since six years old. They, I've been passionate about the Leafs too since, dude, like a little kid like you, like first greatest school, you know? playing street hockey growing up in canada in toronto like that's what we did after school we came home we didn't smoke weed we dropped our backpacks off we had some hot dogs we got our hockey sticks and we played street hockey till dark and it didn't matter how cold it was we were out there every single day playing street hockey we had the nets on the street we had five kids on each side just playing all night shooting this frozen tennis ball at each other until the street light came on and we had to go in and have dinner. But I just like tired of like pouring myself into the Maple Leafs, you know, I remember going to so many Maple Leaf games, like going to college in Toronto and after school is like Maple Leaf gardens is just like a subway right away. Tickets were so dirt cheap, you know, for 12 bucks, you can sit in the bleachers and watch a game. And then just go home, you know, or for whatever it was, it wasn't always 12 bucks, but they were affordable. Like as a college student, I was able to go to a Leaf game like with a friend and eat there, have dinner, you know, have have a good time, drink beers. It's not like that anymore. I do things that feel good. Most people do things that feel good. And they run away from things that don't feel good. I probably won't wear them, Frank. I might sell them so protect your assets. I just saw the title. I'm going to order DeSondra this week, bro. I'm in love. Thanks. Thank you, Chucky. I'm glad to hear that you're in love with DeSondra. I'm in love with it too. Haha, I'm not banning anyone. Don't worry. What's happening, Rudy? I don't think Rudy's ever knocked anybody off here. We can sell them whatever you want. Frank, you shouldn't be so agreeable. See, it's like Frank is trying to appease this woman and she's telling him she doesn't want an agreeable man. It's like, how do you make these women happy? Lily does not want an agreeable man. Lily wants anarchy. Do you want anarchy, Lily? What's your attachment style? Frank and Lily, what are your attachment styles?
Okay. The boys want to go out. FC in trouble. Engines one and three on fire. Rick Vive. Oh, man. 50 goal scorer, wasn't he? Rick Vive. Was he the one? No, wait. No, it was Sittler. Who was the one with like nine points in the game? Was it Sittler or Vive? Rudy. I'm a sarcastic goofball and enjoy laughing and learning shit. Ignore me if I catch you at the wrong time. And you're all you're good, Chucky. You're all good. I got a good laugh. I got a good laugh from you. <laughs> I, I could beat you saying both run away from my problems. Mm. But all that running, then the running becomes hard, Mike. You know, sometimes it's just, it's easier to face. I know what you mean. It's easier to face that stuff. Oh my God, Moose, you acknowledged me. That's what, see the reaction you get, Moose? This is what happens when you ignore women. <laughs> I'm not telling you to ignore women. <laughs> But they get excited. See, I never see Floral get this excited when Frank V uh, hits her up. Not Frank V. <laughs> Frank. Oh, I was thinking Mike V. People do things that feel safe and familiar and think that is the same as good. Yeah. They get in their comfort zone. Whatever feels comfortable. Like they make say they make whatever they feel comfortable feel safe. Not to mention the sports entertainment industry preys on our basic human traits of wanting to be accepted, belong in a tribe, and to mesh our feelings with the performance of said tribe. Very true. Very true. You are worshiping a logo. That's basically how I feel when I watch sports. I feel like I'm worshiping a logo. I'm like, why am I worshiping? Like, I'd rather go outside and worship nature, you know? That's how I feel like, why, why am I wasting my time with this? I get an absolute, it's entertainment. If I feel like getting entertained, okay. But I don't need 80 games a season to be entertained. I don't need that kind of distraction. I need like a couple of games. I was in Portugal last month, bought some great niche fragrances. Hope your fragrances come to Sweden someday. Namo, 730. Yes, I hope so too. Very likely. See, I'm not a snob, says uh, Floral Notes. Actu anxious avoidant. Oof. Anxious avoidant. I might be the same. No. Uh, what would I be? I think I'm all over the place, to be honest. I'm all for having a good time and keeping things light. Frank is anxious and Lily is avoidant. <laughs> wife hates frags. Work wife is fine. Need that frag wench in my life. Oh my God. See, Frank's out there trying to collect things. I'm nothing special. All right, guys, I am going to head out. The boys are waiting for me. They want to catch the end of the Leaf game. So we are going to go for wings and celebrate all sorts of things. But thank you all for being here. It was great seeing you all. <laughs> Whiskey Reaper, go Leafs, go. Yes, Whiskey, go Leafs, go. Whiskey is in Florida. Are any Florida teams in Tampa, Florida, in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Tampa must be, right? Have a great evening. Congratulations again. Thank you, Lily. Have a great evening. Carry on doing whatever you were doing before the stream had started. All of you, carry on. And we will see you soon. We'll see you very soon, guys. We'll see you very soon. Thanks for being here. Have a great night. Love you. Love you. And uh, thanks. Have a great night.